previously on LPS Roller Girl. Come on, Mom, can you tell us where we're going? Nope, it's a surprise. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for some roller derby? Whatever this is, it's a lot better than the art museum. And then Rainbow Bite winked at me, right at me. There's a junior roller derby camp starting this summer. I was going to be a roller girl. Bright and early the next morning, it was time to start on my new life. First, I hung my new poster right over my bed. It was about time I covered up that old solar system mural anyway. I've only been looking at it since second grade. Now Rainbow Bite would be the first thing I saw in the morning and the last thing I saw at night. Next, I made a list on my computer using everything I knew from watching sports movies. Number one, roller skate. Number two, lift weights. Was that number one? Yeah. Number three, eat raw eggs. Uh, number four, watch more sports movies. <sighs> number one on the list seemed the most appealing, so I decided to start there. Good morning, dear mother. Would you care for some fresh squeezed orange juice? Your hair looks lovely in this fluorescent lighting. Are you doing something new with it? What do you want? Can you take me and Nicole to, ro to the roller skating rink? Please, please, please? Who I created? Okay, get some clothes on and we'll leave in an hour. One step ahead of you, Mom. Do you know if Nicole even wants to come? Oh, she'll want to come. I know she will. Of course she'd want to come. We're best friends, and that's what best friends do. They do everything together. Maybe you're wondering by now how Nicole and I became best friends in the first place. <laughs> Actually, it was thanks to know-it-all Rachel and the dead squirrel. Rachel was a bossy jerk, even back in first grade. Nobody touched that squirrel. She rubbed me the wrong way from the start. You're not the boss of everyone. I said, don't touch it. You can't tell me what to do. Rabies! Astrid has rabies! I do not! Stay away from her. You might catch it. Now you're going to start foaming at the mouth, and then you'll go crazy, and then you'll die! <laughs> When I got back inside, I asked Miss Jugdkins if I could use the bathroom. Are you feeling all right? You don't look so well. Rabies. I washed my hands about 50 times in hot water. Was I foaming at the mouth? Or were those just spit bubbles? I really wasn't feeling well at all. Maybe I did have rabies. Maybe this was the end. Why did I touch it? Why? But then... Hello? Nicole came in with the other hall pass. Let me see your paws. You don't have any cuts on your paws. You'll be fine. Are you sure? <laughs> oh yes. My aunt is a doctor and she tells me these things. And just like that, I felt better right away. Nicole stayed with me while I washed my hands one more time. She handed me a big stack of paper towels when I was done. When somebody says your life like that, you, you just can't help but become best friends. <laughs>